Good afternoon folks, 21st Century Caveman here. Hope everybody's safe, hope everybody's well. So today we're talking about tripods and the reason is because I've recently upgraded my GoPro to the Hero 8. I've previously been using the Hero 5 along with a camcorder, a Panasonic, which I've had for several years, which to be fair has been absolutely brilliant but um, it's starting to cut out and become very unreliable. So I saw the, um, the GoPro 8 um, in Amazon, 245 quid, so I decided to buy one, and I might even buy another one, to be honest with you. So anyway, whilst I was thinking about upgrading the camera, I thought it might be an idea to consider upgrading the other stuff that goes with it. So with that in mind, I started scouring the internet, as you do, and I was looking for a new tripod. And the reason is because I've been using a conventional tripod, one that stands on the floor and don't get me wrong it's been very useful especially for things like you know shooting videos for DIY that sort of stuff and also I've taken it with me out and about in the woods all that good stuff but it is a bit big it's a bit heavy more cumbersome and I thought there must be much better options out there. So as I say, with that in mind, I was looking on the internet and I came up with a, um, a product and I'm just going to turn the camera around to the bench here, okay? And then I can show you what we're talking about. Bear with me. Right, folks, so here are the two tripods we're going to be reviewing today. And this is the one that um, I initially decided to purchase after doing some research. So this is a, a lovely tripod. It's basically a tripod and a selfie stick combined in one. So let's just start from the handle then. So for start, you've got some nice silicon grips there, look. Now, the handle actually has some little magnets and some clips. There's the magnets there, look. And these clips, they clip together, look, like that, just to keep these from splaying out, just to keep it all together. Now, as we can see, with this um, effect here, look, I mean, these are very, very strong, or at least they give the appearance of being very, very strong. And when you actually spread these out, it does give a nice, wide, stable surface without being, you know, without taking up too much space. So I'm very impressed indeed with this. I think it's an absolute wonderful design and uh, I think it's super actually. So obviously you can use it as a selfie stick, but it also extends as well. So the way in which you do that is just to pull this now there are about four sections in here, one, two, three, four, yeah, so we've got four sections here, look, and that gives you a decent range of length. So the length of the handle then is about 255 millimetres, which is just over six inches, just a tad over six inches, and the measurement to the top is about 440 millimetres, which is just over 17 inches. So, you know, you really can get a nice extension on this one just to make sure that you can get the right shots when you're filming and, you know, doing selfies, that sort of thing. OK, so that's absolutely super that. Now, this is very, very lightweight and I'll put the weight on the screen now. So working our way up the stick then, we've got this little knob here, look. And it's really easy to get hold of because it's got these curls on the opposite sides look and you can just spin this around and it just makes it really nice and easy to get hold of and as you can see what happens is it will enable you to spin this ball joint up here look so you can get a fantastic range of movement now if you want to really extend the range of movement you've got a couple of divots here look on but um on one side and you can just basically turn it down like that. Or alternatively, you can just move it around. So why do you want to do that? Well, basically, if you're on an even ground, obviously you can't adjust, you can't adjust this, but what you can do is adjust the top bit, okay? So that's absolutely wonderful. And this is really stable. The other thing is the fact that um, you've got some rubberized there might be silicon actually some rubberized little feet here look and they really do stop this from moving around on a, a smooth surface so we know we've got a ball joint on here 
Now it does come with a quarter inch. Let's take that off there, look. This is um, rubberized here, look, so it will give grip to whatever you put on there. And you can use this to attach cameras, action cameras. Um, yeah, you can put pretty much anything on there, which will take a quarter inch screw. On the side here, you also have a shoe. So you can attach things like extra lighting or um, an external microphone if you wanted to. You can put that on there. So that's pretty nifty. So I like this. So this is definitely the tripod which I'll be used for travelling, for go on holiday and also for doing my vlogs from the man cave. So let's put that one there shall we. Now we've got this puppy here look. So this is the Ulanzi MT11. So this was the second tripod I decided to purchase at the same time as the other one we just had a look at. And the reason I chose this was because it appeared to have much more versatility. So let's just do some basic measurements then. So this item then is the total length, about 320 millimetres, which is just over a foot long, 12 inches. The actual handle itself, yeah, it's about eight inches. Okay. Now, um, this is actually quite a bit heavier than the one we've just been looking at so I'm going to put the weight in grams on the screen now so why did I get this one then when I've already bought the other one well the fact is the tripod is very very flexible and it just lends itself to being you know for people shoot like myself shooting videos on surfaces which are uneven it's more versatile in the sense that you can actually secure this to a number of different things. For example, you could um, attach it to the top of a wall or a fence. You could fix it to a tree branch. So this is very versatile indeed. And because these legs spread over a greater area, then it just lends itself to being a lot more stable. I mean, that's absolutely splendid, that is. And also this can take a heavier payload. So these legs then they're rubberized and you know they're not moving anywhere they're really good. I suppose the thing is you know if you keep bending this thing in and out it takes a little bit more time just to get the this thing up here look a little bit more level but you know it's no biggie but this really is very very versatile and as I say you can really manipulate these in any way you want to. This is absolutely splendid and look you could do loads of things really. So the compound inside here I believe is an aluminium alloy, something like that anyway. But yeah, I mean look, you know you could do loads of things with them and if you have a surface which is uneven, well it's not going to be too hard to um, you know get a nice level on this for your filming. 
or your photos so absolutely spot on i like that now obviously you can also use it as a selfie stick but this is quite a bit heavier but you know that in itself isn't a major problem providing you haven't got a bloody great big camera sort of you know on this bit here so i really like this i think it's excellent now it doesn't extend so basically what you see is what you get however you can extend it if you undo this here look and you can perhaps get a small extension bar with a quarter inch thread um, you know male and female and basically just sort of like stick it in the middle and um, hey presto you've got yourself a really nice durable versatile tripod stroke selfie stick now you'll also notice that there's a quarter inch um, female receptor there so you can use that for attachments perhaps extra lighting an external microphone that sort of thing absolutely spot on and very useful indeed now this also has a ball head but the ball head on this one is much bigger and more substantial than the ball head on the the other one here this is the mt16 so if we put them side by side look you'll be able to see the difference in size so they both have this sort of divot on the front here which enables you to make that you know as vertical as you can get it so that's absolutely super and obviously this tripod here look doesn't have this facility on here so what's all this about here then well let's have a look shall we I will mention actually also that another difference is the fact that you've got a little spirit level there look which is really handy and that makes it easier to get the thing nice and level given the fact that these are these are so flexible and you know they lend themselves to needing something to level help you level it out basically so um this ball joint then same as the other ones, 360 degrees lot you can move it backwards and forwards this has got another divot on the other side as well which the other one doesn't have and these this does appear to be very sturdy certainly inspires confidence so what's all this about on the top here then well basically this is a fitment which will now allow you to fit a camera if you want to so what you do look this is actually where are we you can pull that out in fact what happens look um, if we pull that out it actually locks into place like that so what you need to do look you can only do this on one side by the way so what you need to do you pull that out extend that and then you move that up like that so if we go into tripod mode then spread these legs out we can attach a phone using this so what you do look i mean i've got mine in a case but we can still put it on there look so what you do basically just this this moves up and down look okay it's got a uh, you can extend that so if we were to put that in there like so and you've got yourself a nice holder to put your phone on as well and obviously the ball joint will enable you to move the thing around so I'll just stick that on there <laughs> so in addition to that on the top here look you've got a shoe so you could put lighting or a microphone that sort of thing on there and I think it's absolutely excellent we can just see how stable this is look it's really absolutely superb this is very stable you've got a nice wide surface area it's got a good um, base i think it's absolutely fantastic but as i say it doesn't extend now that may not be a problem if you want something that's going to extend then you're probably better off with the other one but i think this is an absolutely fantastic tripod and I don't think it's going to, I mean, obviously you can use it for vlogging, but I think this is something whereby it would come into its own outdoors. So if you're, you know, so for example, camping and you're on an even ground, you can get yourself a nice level shot. No problem at all. You could hang this from a tree 
and also it would enable you to get some more interesting footage. So I think this is super, like I say, it is heavier than the other one. Um, and they each have their own distinct attributes. 